I can it fine. Five pounds both ways. I've not done the tour yet, Blanche. Put Leanne's down in a minute, she'll take your money. You're already here. Yes, I know, but I've got stuff to do. Simon's coming home at midday and we've invited George and Eve over. George? Yeah, so I've got to nip to the shop, get some food in. Oh, you don't have to do that. Don't I? You're busy enough as it is, you and Leanne. Are we? We'll do it. We'll do a nice spread for you. No, 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 you, you're all right. No, oh, don't be daft. It's what families are for. I'll get back and take the sausage rolls out of the freezer. And you'd best call George and tell him to come round to ours. Hang on. And I'll pop to Ashley and get some of that nice ham. <laughs> Fetched him his tr Yeah, well, they're here now, so this will have to do. Thank you. Right, come through. I think we're just about ready for you. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> oh, well, we got Chris and a cake. You've got crisps and cake. This looks a lot better than school dinners, doesn't it? It is. <laughs> Eva, uh, this is my dad, Ken. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, stepmother Deirdre. Very nice to meet you. And you. And uh, you know Leanne. Hello, Leanne. <laughs> Look at this table, groaning. Why is it groaning? Because of all the lovely food on it. I can't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I thought I heard voices. Granny Blanche, why have you got a funny face on? Oh, I do like to see a man with style. I can see you do. Well, you're very stylish yourself. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, Blanche? I'll have more white, Deirdre. Blanche, why don't you uh, take me Dad's offer and have that tea? Oh, Blanche, 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 what's the matter with you all? Am I not allowed a little wine at a party? <laughs> Kids on every corner, lurking and spitting. Pavements knee deep in dog do. Murderers running factories. Oh, it's not like it was round here. Was a time when stupid people with an out to steal could leave the doors open. <laughs> You're painting a very negative picture, Blanche. Well, she's a very negative person. I'm a realist. I don't live in fairyland like you do. Well, everywhere's got a problem, hasn't it? Exactly. There's good and bad everywhere. Good and bad in this room. This one, she were in prison. I nearly died of the shame. Mother, nobody needs to know that. He's had more affairs than soft mick. I think you've had enough, Blanche. Oh, well, you certainly have. <laughs> and this one here uh, is an alcoholic, you know. <laughs> I'll just get you another glass, Blanche, with tea in it. Oh, well, now I'm being told off by the former prostitute. Oh, naughty Blanche. <laughs> naughty. <laughs> Went well, didn't it? You know what? I can just picture many more happy afternoons being wild away like that. Yeah, it, it probably wasn't the way we would have chosen to break the news. What? I'm a drunk, she's a prosy. The subtlety of that message is always going to get lost in the delivery, isn't it? Sure. I'm sorry. I just can't be... I... No. Uh, sorry about this. It's a shock for him. Oh, dear. We're not exactly what he thought. That's a real heart stopper, isn't it? You're ashamed. Well, when it's brought up by Blanche in public to relative strangers, what can I say? There was a twinge of embarrassment. What about you? No, not at all. Yeah, you're right. You get stuck, can't you? Uh, I thought I'd better come back to see how things lie. Well, not as easily as they have done, George. No. I'm sorry about the way I reacted earlier on. Why is that then? I just don't want you thinking I'm, I'm judging you. Yeah, well, that's pretty much exactly what we thought. What are you saying? You weren't. I wasn't reacting to you two. There was a, a lot of stuff. My mother was a drunk, but she never had the courage to face up to it. I know how difficult it is, and I admire you. Well, it didn't seem that way, but. Okay, cheers. And whatever you've done, 
It's no to do with me. I lost touch with Lucy. I know it's a cliche, but I blame my mother for that. She was... <laughs> she was a bad mother. And she passed it over to me, and I was a terrible father. I've... I've done things far worse than either of you could ever do. I've abandoned my child. There's no forgiveness for that. You know, George, Lucy didn't hate you. She should have done. Anyway, um... I'm sorry if I made you feel awkward. I'm really sorry. It's not just Simon. It's been about the joy of meeting you two as well. I'm astounded at... at the way you've... welcomed me into your family. Hey. You are family. Just hang on a minute. Hang on. Give me a minute. What do you think? I don't know. What do you... Give him the benefit? I suppose. Oh, no, look, there's, there's no need for that. I want you to know. I'm sorry. And, uh, that's for you. What's this? It's an iPod. No, George, look, come on, this... This is too much, really. No, it isn't. You've been generous to me with your hearts. This is... tiny, by comparison. We straight? You're impossible. Yeah. We're straight.